guys learning with rich here so in this video we are going to discuss the last part of setting up our project for our revit fire alarm systems design so the topic for today is um, spaces okay so just a bit of a background about the spaces this is most of the time we use for the heating and cooling loads calculation of our uh, building so we place spaces in all areas of the building model to store values that we use in performing heating and cooling load analysis of our uh, building. Okay, and rooms and spaces are independent components. So because sometimes they thought some users thought that rooms and spaces they're just the same, but they are independent components used for different purposes so rooms are for architectural components used to maintain uh, information about occupied spaces or areas while spaces are exclusively used for the MEP disciplines for volume analysis so they contain parameters that maintain information about the areas in which they have been placed so this information is used for performing a heating and cooling loads analysis of our uh, project so spaces can be placed and unplaced and you can also delete your spaces so unplacing spaces is not the same as deleting spaces so spaces are immediately assigned to the default zone when they are in initially added to a project so spaces can be viewed in a section view and spaces cannot be viewed or placed in elevation or 3d view okay so let's get started so to place a space let's go to the analyze tab and then you see here you have the spaces and zones panel and then there's your space here so it places analytical spaces to account for the for the entire volume within the vo within the model that includes rooms plenums and chases if you still remember on the first part of our uh, setting up our project where we link our architectural model if you remember what we did is we have selected our link model and then we go to the edit type to open the type properties and then we have checked the room bounding so this is very important so in order for you to place your spaces correctly so you need to check the room bounding parameter of your link model okay because if you do not do that the Revit will not detect the room bounding components of your model so you will not be able to place your spaces okay so let's get started so I'm going to select the space here okay and then here there's the spaces option so or space panel so you can place spaces automatically and then you can also highlight the boundary here and then you can automate the placement of the tag for our space so later on I'm going to show you the place spaces automatically but for now I'm just going to place the space one by one and aside from that you also have options here on your uh, options bar so wherein you can specify the upper limit of your space and then the height or the offset so let's say for example I am at level 1 so I'm going to change the level here up to level 2 and then I'm going to change the offset to 0 oops 0 that's it so meaning to say the space that I'll be placing will gonna be from level 1 to level 2 without an offset and then you can also specify here if you want to have a leader or if you want to create a new space so in our case we're going to create a new space okay so let's get started so I'm going to place now the space here so I'm going to place it click and then I just select here modify okay so if I'm going to select the space there's a space that I just created notice that you can see here already some information regarding on that particular area or on that particular space okay so we haven't placed any 
lighting fixtures yet or any fire alarm system that's why some of the values here are zero and then one thing that you can see here is the dimension of that particular space you can see here the area the perimeter the unbounded height the volume okay and then you can also see here the identity data wherein Revit automatically detects or the space that we place here automatically detects the room number and then the room name that the architect placed on that particular area when they place the room. Because there's an option here, room, if you go to the architecture, so you can see room. So this is being used by the architectural side. So in our side, for the MEP, we use space. Okay, so right after we place the space here, Notice that it detects the room number and then the room name of the room here. Okay, and then also notice that the mechanical flow here is, is still zero because we haven't placed anything yet. Okay, so that's why it's zero. Now, what we are going to do is we want to uh, follow the room number and then the room name of our uh, room here to our space. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to edit the tag okay so i'm going to select this tag the space tag and then after that i'm going to select edit family so i click edit family and then it will now open up the uh, space tag family so what i'm going to do is i'm going to select the space name and then i'm going to edit the label so instead using the space name so what i'm going to do is i'm going to select that and then i'm going to remove Instead, I'm going to look for room name, and then I'm going to add there. Then after that, I'm going to select here OK. Okay? Right, now for this one, same with the number here. So I can select this, and then I'm going to select Edit Label. So as you can see, it's only a number. So I'm going to select that, and then I'm going to remove that. Instead, I'm going to look for room number. So select and then click add. And then you can put here a sample value, let's say 101. And then I select apply and then OK. And then that's it. Now, the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to select here load into project. Or I'll just load and close. So load into project and then close this one without saving. So I'm not going to override the original file. So I'll just select here, no. And then once I do that, override the existing version. So look what will happen here. So I'm going to select override the existing version. And then you, as you can see, my space tag now um, detects or it becomes now the room name. So if I select again the space, I move the slider down. As you can see, it follows here the room number and then the room name okay so later on i'm going to teach you how to quickly change the name of your space here and then the number of your space here based on our room number and then room name here i'm going to show you that later on okay now another way of placing your space is by going again to the analyze select the space and then after that Let's say I'll change this again until level 2 without an offset distance. So I just make it 0. This time, I'm going to select place spaces automatically. Okay, so I do not want to click one by one. So I'm just going to place spaces automatically. So I click that. And there you go. So it now says here 36 spaces created automatically. Okay, and then it also... Uh, indicate there the room name and then the room number. So I just close this one and there you go. Right? Okay, so I don't want to see this one. So right click. Good. I'll just hide that. <laughs> All right. Okay, now the next thing that I'm going to do is um, let's try to create a schedule. So we are going to create a space schedule so that we can see all the space on our level one, for example. So that is what we are going to do. So to create the space schedule, so I'm going to right click the schedules here, and then there's an option here, new schedule quantity. So just click that, there you go. And then let's look for spaces. 
so select that so you can also put here level one if you want so level one oops level one space schedule so let's select here okay and there you have it now what I'm gonna do here is I want to add the uh, space number and then the space name okay so I'm going to hold control to select both and then I'm going to select add and I also want to include here the area which is this one I double click okay and then I'm going to add the room name and then the room number so I'm going to click the spaces here and then I'm going to select the room because on on your spaces you will not be able to see their room number or room name right because we are on the spaces category so we, you need to change that to room and then from there you can see now the room name and then the room number then click so I'm going to select the area and then move it down 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 there you go and then after that I'm going to sort it so I'm gonna sort it by uh, how about room name so I select room name and then uh, how about grand totals itemize every instance so I select here okay oh okay let me just go quickly to the format on the area so instead I'm going to change that to calculate totals so I want to calculate the total of the area and then I'll just select now here okay let's wait and then this is now how it looks like so there is the grand total so this is now the total area now I do not want to have these uh, blank spaces so that's why what I'm gonna do is um, I'm going to select all of this and then for the meantime I'm just going to delete that okay you cannot just simply go to your floor plan and then select the space and then after that you delete that you will not be able to delete completely the space so you need to create a schedule just like what we have done and then from here you delete the space okay so just to show you let's say i want to um, delete this one okay i want to delete this unoccupied space so i select and then let's say i'm going to delete that so notice that there is a warning a space was deleted from all model views but it still remains in the project so the space can be removed from any schedule or placed back in this model using the space command okay so we need to create here a schedule which is what we already done okay because it will not totally delete the space by just simply selecting that and then deleting so that's why I'm just going to undo it so I go to the space schedule so I'm going to select this hold shift and then click this and then from here I can delete so I want to delete that so this will delete the 15 selected spaces and any associated space tags so I select your OK and there you go now what I want to do is I want to follow the name of the room name for my space name here and then space number okay I can actually do it manual okay like for example I click this and then I can change that to uh, office right so I can just type office oops and then for the room number I can just simply change that to 111 but it will take a lot of time right so instead of doing it manually because before in 2009 I think or 2010 we usually do it like this we do it manual we copy the room name and then the room number for our space name and then space number okay so we don't need to do that again because if I go to the analyze here there is a tool here that is called space naming so it assigns the names and numbers from architectural rooms which is the room name and then room number two MEP spaces used for the building performance analysis so you just need to select this one and then we use uh, names and numbers and then all levels and then I'll just select here okay and there you go right okay it's pretty useful okay so again you can see also your space if you are going to create a section now the next thing that I'm going to do is just 
to put some colors on our spaces here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to select here the color fill legend. So let's select this one. And then after that, I'm going to pick here. And then just make sure space type spaces is selected because you have other options here. So I'll just use spaces and then I select here. OK. And there you go. OK, so you can still edit this one. You can select that. You can go to edit scheme and then you can change the color based on the area, for example. So you can select area. OK. There you go, and then you can select here, okay. So it's up to you, okay? You can put it by area or you can put it by name, all right? So basically, that's how you create the space. So hopefully, you learned something from this video. On our next uh, video, we are now going to add some wall-hosted devices to our model. So thank you for watching, guys. Have a nice day.